to ask yourself whether or not you should share some information about what happened, you've already answered the question. No information is too small. Four days, that's how long 16-year-old Kylie Rodney has been missing. Hundreds of people are searching for her near the Truckee campground where she mysteriously disappeared over the weekend. Thanks for joining us for Fox 40 News. I'm Eric Harriman. And I'm Sinceri Tonsil in tonight for Nikki Lorenzo. The FBI for the first time joined local investigators as they shared details of Kylie's whereabouts before she vanished and activity on her cell phone from early Saturday morning. Fox 40's Rowena Shaddock's joining us in Truckee with the urgent message for the public's home. Row. Well, Eric and Sinceri, the trailer behind me has been ground zero. This is where the grassroots effort is coming from, getting the word out, this SUV pulling up, possibly picking up some flyers that they could distribute around town. Now, we do know that this press conference, it was the first one just a little while ago, attended by hundreds of people, well, maybe dozens of people that really didn't even know Kylie. At this point in the investigation, detectives say no tip is too small. We are uh, accepting video uh, from people who are involved, so that's coming into a single source so that that team can evaluate it, look through the video, uh, surveillance video from other areas. In the first press conference with allied agencies since Kylie disappeared early Saturday morning, Detective Sergeant Scott Alford shared information regarding videos they're collecting. Alford says they've obtained surveillance video with Kylie before the party, which helps confirm a timeline of events. We did actually uh, have uh, some surveillance video from a store at uh, 6 o'clock the day before uh, that showed Kylie. And so we have that information. Alfred also says the last information they've obtained from Kylie's cell phone is from early Saturday. We are working uh, with the FBI right now. The last information we have from uh, cellular data is uh, the 6th at uh, 33 minutes after midnight. We do know that a text was sent from Kylie to her mother shortly before that. We got home around 11 and she sent me a text at 1130 telling me that she was going to be leaving at about 12.15 and coming home and that was, I asked her to wake me up when she got in. That was always kind of, you know, like what we did and, um, and she said, okay, mom, I love you. And that was the last. Investigators have received more than 200 tips, which they're working through. Today, the search continued for Kylie with more than 100 volunteers. The last location known, our search expands from there. And then if we get a tip about another location, we will divert resources and work that uh, to exhaustion. And the Placer County Sheriff's Office says they will be sharing those surveillance images of Kylie with us. Of course, we will share that with you once we receive them. Reporting live from Truckee, Rowena Shaddix, Fox 40 News.